Good morning. This session is about grouping in, as required in the grade four UNISA syllabus. So we will be discussing the method of grouping and while we are discussing that, I will do an example of two um, to practically illustrate the method. The first step of the method is to determine, determine the number of quavers given. Um, so if we go to this exercise here and we start counting the quavers, this will be one. The dot is equal to half the value of the note. So the value of the dot in this example will be 16. 16 plus 16 is a quaver. So that's one, one, this is one, these two together, one, 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 two, and one. The total number of quavers in this example will be nine, and therefore we are dealing with compound time. In this case, nine eights would be the answer then, because we counted nine quavers in a bar, so the answer is nine quavers. Um, nine quavers, because this is, it is compound time, will be grouped into three groups of dotted crotchets. And to know where the different groups are, we have to make a clean uh, divide between the different groups. Um, a dotted crotchet will be, will be there, there and there. So the answer in this case would be important here is to remember um, if we have one group and the 16th note right there is um, part of the group, then the file of the 16th note is always in the direction of the dot of the previous note. Then the next group would be the 216. And remember not to combine it into one note because in this case we need to hear all the different if it was the instrument playing it or a drum kit, um, any rhythmic instrument playing it, it would have been um, four distinct different notes. So one should still be able to hear the four different notes. In this case it's a dotted project because it has been part there. Okay, another example. The first step is to Determine, determine the number of quavers. In this case, we've got one, 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 and two. In total, therefore, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is again nine quavers in a bar, and we are dealing with compound time. Therefore, dotted crotchets in each beat, nine eighths. In this case, the first three will just stay the same. The important thing in this exercise is also to determine uh, which of the groupings that has been given is right or wrong. If it has, or if it is, has been given in the right way, you just rewrite it again. The next group you have to change. And that will be that. And the next group. Will be only the two sixteens together, right? Because the next one is a dotted project. And in this case, one can now clearly see the three different groups. That's our first group, our second group, and our third group. Okay, another example. So we have to count the number of quavers firstly. So that's one, two, this is a triplet, so that will be equal to two, one, one, and two. In total, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, like I said before, that uh, a triplet is always a good indication of counting and uh, the group seen into, uh, divided into crotchets. In this case, we don't have uh, the option of Eight of eight, the option that we find in music is four, four. And then the answer, we have to divide there, there, and there of each group of two quavers. That's a crotchet, 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 and a crotchet. So the answer will be that. And the triplet. another project and the project. Okay, I hope that helped.